Hi everyone, I'm Pearl, EFT Tapping Trainer. And today we're shining the light on Fern. So happy Hanukkah everybody. And here's Fern. Now Fern came on the training in the summer. And Fern is such an interesting lady. She does so many things. She's a journalist. She's a public relations consultant and an aromatherapist. And now she has added EFT to her repertoire. So welcome Fern. And I'd love to know, and I'm sure everyone else will be interested, what is it about EFT that you love? Uh, I just love the mind-body connection, um, how it clears issues, how it, it just um, moves the energy and, you know, makes you, allows you to go forward while, you know, um, clearing past issues. And it's just, it's a wonderful way to release energy and, uh, you know, just has given me personally so much. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now, I've spoke to you before and you have such a unique perspective with Hanukkah coming and using the Marat saw. So I wonder if you'd love to share with everyone your ideas and we're going to do something really a bit different now. So over yes. to you, over to you. Thank you. Well, the Mautzor poem or piyut um, was developed in the 13th century, um, supposedly after the response to the Crusades. And it goes, um, it's sort of a historical clearing. And uh, it goes, you know, with EFT, we try to clear out the negative and bring in the positive. And this, this poem uh, really reflects that. So I thought it would be a great way to tap on the stanzas, breathe in between the stanzas, um, give ourselves a, a modern day historical clearing. Such so. a cool idea, such a cool idea, I love it, I love it. So I'm gonna share the screen so that we can read it together and I'm gonna let you lead the way. Such a cool idea about clearing out the negatives and having a, having a historical cleaning because we're all carrying all parts of the past inside us. So great to have this clearing. So I'm going to share the screen now. Here we go. Okay. okay. So, so we're going to go between um, uh, each stanza and, and breathe. And I'm going to say it slowly and you'll repeat it after me. Um, so here we go. Okay. Rock of my salvation. To praise you is a delight. Let our house of prayer be restored, and there we will offer you our thanks. My soul was full of misery. My strength was embittered with grief. When enslaved under the rule of Egypt, they embittered my life with hardship. They embittered my life with hardship. When enslaved under the rule of Egypt, they embittered my life with hardship. But God, with his mighty power, brought out his treasured people. God brought out his treasured people. God, with his mighty power, brought out his treasured people. God, with his mighty power, brought out his treasured people. God, with his mighty power, brought out his treasured people. Okay, take a breath in and a big breath out. Continue. He brought me to his holy abode, but even there I found no rest. The oppressor came and exiled me because I serve strange gods. The oppressor came and exiled me because I serve strange gods. He brought me to his holy abode. Even there I found no rest. The oppressor came and exiled me because I serve strange gods. Yet scarcely had I gone into exile when Babylon fell. 
within 70 years, I was saved. Within 70 years, I was saved. Yet scarcely had I gone into exile when Babylon fell. Within 70 years, I was saved. Yet scarcely had I gone into exile when Babylon fell. Within 70 years, I was saved. Take a breath in and a deep breath out. We'll continue. The Agagite, son of Chemdata, plotted to cut down Mordechai's tree. Plotted to cut down Mordechai's tree. The Agagite, son of Chemdata, plotted to cut down Mordechai's tree. He plotted to cut down Mordechai's tree. The Agagite, son of Chemdata, plotted to cut down Mordechai's tree. But it proved a snare to him, and his arrogance was silenced. You lifted up Mordechai, and the enemy's name was blotted out. You hanged his sons on the gallows. You lifted up Mordechai and the enemy's name was blotted out. You hanged his sons on upon the gallows and the enemy's name was blotted out. Take a breath in and a big breath out. And continuing, the Greeks gathered to attack me. They breached my towers and defiled my oils. The Greeks gathered to attack me. They breached my towers and defiled my oils. The Greeks gathered to attack me. They breached my towers and defiled all my oils. The Greeks gathered to attack me. They breached my towers and defiled all the oils. But from the one remaining flask, a miracle occurred. Therefore, these eight days, were designated for songs of praise. But from one remaining flask, a miracle occurred. Therefore, these eight days were designated for songs of praise. But from one remaining flask, a miracle occurred. Therefore, these eight days were designated, designated for songs of praise. Rock of my salvation, to praise you is a delight. Let our house of prayer be restored. And there we will offer you our praise. O rock of my salvation, to praise you is a delight. Let our house of prayer be restored. And there we offer you our praise. O rock of salvation, to praise you is a delight. Let our house of prayer be restored. And there we will offer you our thanks. Take a breath in and a big breath out. And it's really wonderful to share this holiday poem with you all. And we should just have a Chag Orim Sameach. Oh.
That was beautiful. I absolutely love that. It felt so good. And it felt so good to say the words in English as well, because I don't take the time. So that was a great learning, a great, feels so good, grounding, cleansing. I love your tone. I love your manner. You have great insight. I really, really urge people to contact Fern. Fern uses her journalistic skills with a great questioning. She gets to the point with her clients. She's doing amazing, amazing work. So find Fern on Facebook, Fern Allen. And thank you again. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And I hope all the viewers do as well. And wishing everybody a wonderful, wonderful Hanukkah and light to the whole world. Okay.